Yeah. Hey Marcel, how's your experience been in New York? Can you get put the watch up? It's a big watch, dude. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> that's cool. Okay. That's cool. It's all over here. Right, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. That's nice. That's nice. Who right. made the watch? It's been a long way since we made the watch. Oh, oh really? Everything. So how has your minute NFL draft experience been so far? It's overwhelming, exciting. I followed the tweets from the EA Sports parties. You were with Aaron Andrews and everything. So uh, what was that like? It was crazy, man. Dancing with Jerry Rice. It's, it's amazing. Wait, you learned some moves from Jerry from Dancing with the Stars or what? Man, he showed me a little something. I had to go back and <laughs> take a cop and do a little bit myself. Who were you guys dancing to? A little bit of everything. Every song came on, he showed me some steps. So I was, just, I was excited to take it. Any idea who you're going to go to? Uh, what, what system are you going to play in the NFL? I, have, I don't know, I have no idea. So many draft boards coming out. You don't know what a team thinking. And you have no, you don't have no idea what's going on. So I'm just gonna sit back and let stuff happen. And how the folks doing back at back home? I know they're they're, they're concerned I about call, that. Um, so, yeah. I called my brothers, called my sisters. Everybody okay? I just can't wait to get. I'm gonna go home tomorrow to check on everybody. And make yeah, sure my mom was in the basement in a tornado in Georgia, so I, I hear you. I feel it's, you. It's, it was bad, man. Yeah, quite. Cool, yeah. Hey, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, just taking gun, man, and uh, keeping him first. Julio, how the University of Alabama prepare you to be an NFL prospect? You know, the training um, and the fans as well. You know, you deal with great success there. And um, you keep all the training. What do you think of uh, what do you think of what's happening with uh, the NFL and labor issues and everything? Well, it's just so complex. It's so so complex. There's so many issues, and they're just the, the, the average fan and the public cannot possibly understand. They basically don't understand you know, themselves. I mean, they, it's a stalemate. What would you like to see done? Well, it's too complex to, to make a quick judgment. But they, you know, the uh, the players. It's a fine line of the retired players that. Uh, Certainly, uh, with some concussions and things in camp, can't take care of themselves. Oh, yeah, turn you around. There you go. <laughs> yeah, can't turn. You know, can't uh, take care of themselves. So, you know, it's a fine line. You know, Gene Upshaw can't take any was in in his position and trying to take care of some of the retired players that help build this league and, and build the brand that is here now and it's uh, very, very valuable and things and this and that. So it's very fun. How did we get to this state in football? Because it used to be, well, you know. Uh, well, it just, you know, after, uh, you know, after 20 or 30 years, you don't put any revenues in, in for uh, health issues and things. And this is what you, this is That's where you got right. into it. Well, this I is know where Ditka, you got into it. Huh? Whatever happened to that effort that Mike Ditka had with yeah, the retired, what, exactly. did, that, did that fall off or was it after the court case? That, well, it, uh, you know, it, this antitrust and all this just so, uh, yeah, Ditka was trying to get some retirement for the players and things and so it was just fight City Hall, so, you know, type deal, player association. Hey, real quick before I hand you off, what do you remember yeah. most about Vince Lombardi? Because... Well, it's just his great leadership. I mean, he just was overbearing and, and getting the maximum out of his football players. And it, was, it wasn't all about me. It was about the team concept. And this is why we were so successful in five championships in, in, nine, year, in nine years for me. Did you ever have a chance to meet Tom Landry? Because you gave Coach Landry a lot of fits. Yeah. So oh, did you yeah. ever have a chance to meet him later? Sure. Was, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I met him and I was with him on a number of occasions and things. Sure. One of the greatest running backs in NFL history. Mr. Taylor, thank you for your time. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you for the comment. Thank you. Thank you.